Hey guys and welcome back. I'm going to be working my way through the app to just kind of give you an in-app experience of what this looks like with Fubo TV and also just give some of my first impressions and where I think this service goes right and wrong and ultimately whether I think it's worth it um, for that $39.99 a month price. So just starting off here I logged into my account and right as you get in here on the uh, web-based uh, browser application that you use here on the website um, they take you to the sports tab with all of these different filter options and I will say in my experience I've used both the Roku app and the web-based app and the website version is just way better in terms of finding programs uh, that you're gonna wanna watch channel surfing um, recording stuff uh, and just being able to filter out exactly what you're looking for it's just way more convenient on the web-based app it's much more developed and at a later state you can tell the Fubo TV app on the Roku player is in beta version I assume they're gonna make it better in the future but it's just not a great experience right now they just have tiles essentially um, of the different channels with their logos and you gotta slowly move your way through them to uh, see exactly what's on and it's just it basically tells you in text what's on and it's a lot harder to filter what you're looking for see what's on in the future um, especially for DVR recording purposes. Uh, this is just a way better experience here on the uh, on my personal computer on the website. So like I said, once you log in, it takes you to the sports tab. It shows you some of the main contests here for the day. If you scroll down a bit, um, it'll give you all of the current live sporting events that you're uh, that you have access to and can watch. Um, as well as those that are coming up in the future. And it is also important to note that you don't necessarily have to DVR. Um, some of these sporting events or pretty much all of them if you aren't able to watch them live because you can go back and watch events that have already passed um, and watch them through an on-demand feature as you can see I just went one day back in time and I can watch all of these different sporting events and you can go back up to three days um, prior and do that but after that you can see you can't go back any further so if you're wanting to watch a sports match and it's not gonna happen within a three-day period um, then you probably are gonna want to DVR them but still it's nice to have these on-demand uh, features so that you don't have to record every single thing that you want to watch at the end of the day alright scrolling on up here you can filter by specific sport which is really nice and then also if you're not interested in the sports content and you just want to see the entertainment you click on that and it gives you uh, some of the top entertainment options that are currently on you can filter by series and movies and get that different content on demand which is nice um, and then you can scroll down here and see that uh, you know it's more of these tiled situations where you can see exactly what the program is uh, the series that are live right now, movies that are live right now, and recently aired movies if you want to catch that content as well. Uh, you can see that is a little bit different on this entertainment tab than the sports tab in terms of how it's laid out. Then you can also just go to the traditional guide which is really popular feature. I wish that the tr traditional guide was on the Roku app so that when I'm watching on my TV it's a simpler experience but having this traditional guide it's just really easy to scroll through see exactly what's on and uh, these little blue indicators here if you click on that it's going to DVR the program for you and you'd get 30 hours of recordable DVR uh, that will last as long as you want until you uh, delete that recording if you want more DVR you can upgrade to 500 hours which is an extra 999 a month so a lot of people that use DVR a lot that's probably a function that you're gonna be interested in it's also important to note that you're gonna be limited to just two streams that you can watch at the same time so it's a little bit more limiting than PlayStation view and sling TV which have um, five streams that you can watch at the same time and four respectively um, and then just to scroll back up here you can go to the my DVR I don't currently have any recordings but you can catch those um, here and it shows you exactly how many hours you've recorded and scheduled to record so that you can manage that effectively and just of course if you want to upgrade to that 500 hours it's very easy to do so as well so at the end of the day um, do I recommend this particular live TV streaming service the answer to that is no and my reasoning is they cater specifically to sports fans but they leave out a lot of important sports content with the ESPN exclusion um, even NHL and MLB Network and they also have just a bunch of entertainment options so why get this package 
unless you're specifically a soccer fan, given the fact that Fubo TV does have a great selection of soccer channels for the price in comparison to their competition. But I'd even as a avid sports fan, I'd much rather get uh, like direct TV now, PlayStation view, sling TV or Hulu TV, given the fact that it's a very similar price point and you can get your regional sports network, the, those Fox sports channels, NBC, CBS sports channels um, for the most part, as well as getting those ESPN channels and ESPN three, um, as well as a better selection of entertainment and news channels. So I'm not exactly sure ex um, who Fubo TV is catering to specifically other than soccer fans, um, but just your general sports fan that lives in the United States. Um, I feel like there's better options out there for you with these uh, streaming services. Uh, ESPN is probably going to be releasing an, a standalone app of their own in the future. So maybe in the future you can get something like Fubo TV as well as an ESPN um, subscription. But then you have to go through different apps to catch different content, and that's kind of annoying. Uh, what we really want as sports fans in this streaming uh, service category is just something that offers every sports channel without all the extra news and um, you know media and entertainment options at a price point of maybe uh, you know maybe $29.99 maybe $39.99 max um, but I know that a lot of sports fans would be interested in a package that is strictly um, catered to their sports watching uh, needs and Fubo TV it seems like they set out to try to accomplish this but I feel like they just came up short in what they were trying to do and it's a shame but it feels like we are going in a direction where these different streaming services are becoming more catered to specific uh, interests and types of people so maybe in the future we will get a strictly sports sports based um, content at a very reasonable price so that's pretty much it for this video guys we went through uh, kind of how the app works our initial impressions and opinion of this a particular streaming service if you're interested in catching more fubo tv uh, videos we've made quite a few of them answering a lot of the frequently asked questions and reviews and things such as that of this particular service um, so you can check those out at our youtube channel as well so thanks for stopping on in guys for today's video and we hope to see you in the future bye